Hello everyone, I'm Fred Chapur and it's time to start getting in great shape by using the wind jet. You are about to see for yourself how the wind gym can give you a great workout for your chest, your back, your biceps, triceps, your shoulders, inner, outer thighs, and also your abs. There's no other piece of equipment that will do that for you. The wind gym is a totally new way to exercise. The wind gym works with what we call win-win resistance. You're gonna get resistance as you push out, and you're gonna get resistance as you press in. Win-win resistance allows you to work two opposing muscles with the same exercise motion. It's really easy to get started with the wind gym. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to turn the knob counterclockwise. The handles are going to get loose, but what I want you to pay attention is these two lines. There are two lines, one over there, one over here. What you're going to do is you're going to align those together. Right there, when they're aligned, you're ready to turn the knob back and tighten them. Right there. The next step that I want you to do, I want you to grab one of the arms of the wind gym and twist it a little bit back and forth till you loosen the power chamber. You're going to see a space right there. That one is ready. You grab the other one, the same thing, back and forth, a little space there. They are both ready. Now you're going to grab the wind gym around this position right here and this one over there. The reason for that, if you grab it below, it may turn a little bit to be unstable. So you're gonna grab it around there and there. That's the easiest way to get started. The great thing about the wind gym is that you can adjust your resistance to your own fitness level. At the end of the power chamber handle, you're gonna find the resistance dial, which if you see, it has a little mark there and it has six numbers, six different sets of resistance. Number one, will be the lowest resistance. If you want to apply a little bit more resistance to your workout, you just turn the knob and match that mark with the number two. If you want to add a little bit more resistance, you turn it to number three. The higher the number, the more resistance you're going to get. If you want a little bit more of a challenging workout, you put it on number four. If you want to add more resistance than that, number five. And for the ultimate workout, on number six. Those are the basics on how to set up the wind gym. And now it's time for some great toning and shaping exercises. We're going to show you a great routine which we call the Fantastic Five. These are five great exercises that are going to work your chest, your back, your shoulders, your biceps, and triceps. These exercises, you can do them anywhere with the wind gym. You can do it at home. If you're traveling, you can work this exercise in your room. Anywhere you go, take the wind gym with you and work the routine. You're going to love it. Now, here with me is my friend Christina and George. They're going to help us out. We're going to show you the first exercise, which is the chest and back builder. There are three positions to this exercise. The lower one. As they are pushing out, they're getting a great workout on the lower back. And as they are pressing in, they're going to get a great workout on the lower chest. We change the position now to the middle. Pressing out, great for the middle back, and as they push in, great workout for the middle of the chest. One more time, we're gonna change the position up. A great press out, great for the back, and as they push in, upper chest. I want you to remember, the wind gym, the wind-wind resistance will allow you to work two muscle groups at the same time. I'm going to show you that. George is going to turn around. I want you to look. As he's pressing out, watch his back contract. How is that working? And look at Christine also here doing the same motion, but on the front, how's her upper chest? We're going to lower the wind to the middle. Again, middle chest and the middle of the back. Now, this is very important. The wind gym allows you to work your chest and back at the same time. That is very important because it will strengthen the muscles of the back, your shoulders, 
that will give you a much better posture and give you an enhanced bass line. Also for you guys out there, it's great if you want to tone and enhance your chest and back. Again, look at this uh, position. Lower position is hitting the lower back and the lower chest. Okay, as you see, there were three different levels of position. You have the lower position, middle, and upper. What I will suggest to you is on the lower position, do three sets of 15 to 20 repetitions. The same thing for the middle position, three sets, 15 to 20 repetitions, and the same thing for the upper position, 15 to 20 repetitions. One thing that is very important, the resistance. I want you to put a resistance to check the level that you're using, something that feels comfortable. The way you're gonna notice what is comfortable for you, how you can handle the wind jump. If all of a sudden you find this a little bit difficult to handle it, maybe it's too much resistance, lower it. It's better to start light and increase it than go too heavy and have the exercise being a little bit rough to start. The next exercise is the back and shoulder builder. But we're gonna do the same angle of the wind gym, but we're gonna go a little bit overhead, okay? Press out, working your back. And as you push in, you're gonna get, get your shoulders. Press out, all your upper back, middle back, lower back. And as you push in, you're gonna get a great workout on your shoulders. You're getting the entire head of your shoulders, the front, the side, the rear delta. And also, as they're pressing out, they're getting a great workout on their back. There are no different positions with this exercise, just one position. Again, the best thing to do with this one, three sets of 15 to 20 repetitions. Now, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna turn around George and Christina. Take a look how it's working their backs and also the shoulders at the same time. Okay, look at Christina, her rear shoulder and her back, okay? Look at George, as they're pressing in, they're working the shoulders, as they're pulling out, they're getting a great workout for their back. Again, the great advantage of the wind gym is that it gives you that win-win resistance. With this motion, they're getting the back and the shoulders. They're getting a great workout in the whole back, upper, middle, and lower back, and the shoulders. The next exercise we're gonna do is a stress buster. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put the wind gym all over here, right there, you know, push out, Get a good stretch on your shoulders. And then as you press in, you contract a little bit the upper shoulders, the trapezius. But the most important thing is the stretch that you're gonna get on your way out. That will give you a great workout to stretch those muscles that sometimes may get a little bit tight if you work too much sitting on a desk in front of a computer. So this is a great exercise. Best thing here to do, again, three sets, of 15 to 20 repetitions. But it's very important on this exercise also that I want you to pay attention, is the breathing. I wanna make sure that you inhale as you stretch it out and you open your, the muscles, stretch it, and then push in and exhale. This is a great exercise if you wanna release a little bit of that tension that is built up in the area of your shoulders. The next exercise we're gonna do is the chest and shoulder builder. What we're gonna do, we're gonna adjust the wind gym to a straight position, okay? So we're gonna turn the knob, get the wind gym straight, and what we're gonna do is grab it. Remember where you're gonna grab the wind gym. Right there, a little bit above the great ring, okay? We have three positions on, the ex on this exercise. Remember, very similar at the chest and back, but now we're gonna work the chest and shoulders. Position number one, the lower position. Okay, press out. Great for your side shoulders. Press in, great for your lower chest. Again, as they are pressing out, they're getting a great workout on the side shoulders as they're pushing in, great for the lower chest. We're gonna change the position a little bit higher, middle position, again, press out, shoulders. As they press in, they're getting a great workout on the middle chest. Two muscle groups at the same time. The third position, remember like the other one, the back and chest, upper position. Press out, great for the real delts, the back part of the shoulders. And as they are pushing in, it's great for the upper chest when you press in. Start with the lower position, do three sets, 15 to 20 reps in each position. Three sets on the lower, three sets on the middle, and three sets on the upper position. The next exercise we're gonna do is the bicep and tricep. What we're gonna do is a quick adjustment to the wind gym. We're gonna turn the knob, we're gonna adjust the wind gym to a 90 degree angle, okay? 
What that is going to allow you is to work your bicep and tricep at the same time. Okay, ready guys? We're going to curl up. That's working your biceps, pushing down. Great workout for your triceps. Again, you get the advantage of the win-win resistance, which allows you to work your bicep as you curl in, and you work your tricep as you press down. Again, with this exercise, there's only one position, three sets, 15 to 20 reps. Also, remember the resistance. You can adjust the resistance on the wind gym. Adjust it to a level that you feel comfortable. Okay, again, curl up, biceps, press down, you get your triceps. For this exercise, I will suggest you to do three sets of 15 to 20 reps. Also, remember, you do three sets, 15 to 20 reps on this arm, then you switch it, you do the other arm. You're working the bicep and triceps at the same time. Three sets, 15 to 20 reps. So those are the fantastic five, but there's more out there. I want to show you a couple more exercises that you can do with the wind gym. This exercise we're going to do is an exercise that can really work your inner and outer thighs. Christine is going to show us right here sitting on a chair how you can really benefit from this exercise. As she's going to press out, she's going to get a great workout on the outer thigh. As she's pushing in, the muscles on the inner thigh are coming into action to contract and get a great workout. This is a great exercise for toning those areas, the outer and inner thigh. Remember, the win-win resistance is allowing you to work two opposing muscles with the same motion. Now, I want you to do between three sets of 15 to 20 repetitions. Great exercise for your inner and outer thighs. Now, what we're going to do, the same position, we're going to change the angle of the wind gym. We're going to get the wind gym to a straight position. The reason for that is because what we're going to work now is your abs, okay? Once you have the wind gym on a straight position, you're going to put it right there, grab it with your feet, and then hold it a little bit closer. And as you press down, I want you to focus on pushing with your abs. Push down, pull up. When you pull up, you're going to work a little bit your lower back also, which that's great. And then as you're pressing down, letting all the air out, you're going to get a great worker for your abs. Make sure, this is very important, make sure, look what Christine is doing. This is perfect. She's letting her air completely out. That will give you a much better squeeze on your abs. So you inhale on your way up and exhale on your way down. This is great for your abs. Again, abs, this exercise you can do between three sets or four sets between 15, 20 reps. Squeeze those abs. That's excellent, Christina. That was great. Okay, thank you very much for your help. George, thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys. What I'm gonna show you is a couple of my favorite exercises that you can do with the wind gym. First, I'm gonna show you a great exercise to work your lats. You're gonna bring down the wind gym, put it on the floor, push out, press in. Push out and press in. This is a great exercise to work your lats and your back. Another great exercise for your bicep and triceps, using the wind gym again on this straight position, grabbing the wind gym a little bit in the middle, squeeze down, press in. As you press in, you're going to work your bicep, squeeze down, you're going to get a great workout on your triceps. Another great exercise for the bicep and triceps, this is a great exercise to focus on those areas. You're going to turn it over your head, grab it with your hand on the back, Okay, right there. So you're gonna squeeze up, the tricep, press down, bicep. Again, push out, get a good squeeze on your tricep, press in, great squeeze on your bicep. This is a great exercise for your bicep and triceps. Also, ladies, remember, if you have long hair, bring it to a ponytail so you don't get the wind gym tight in your hair. Just a couple quick reminders. Loosen the handles. Make sure you grab the wind gym around this position, not too far, not too close, just right there. That will allow you a great range of motion. And for safety reasons, the wind gym is not going to become wobbly to handle. Another thing, remember the resistance. Start with the number one resistance, the lowest resistance. It, does, it doesn't matter really if it feels easy. 
the main thing, I want you to get used to the, move, the motion, the movement, okay? Press out, push in. As you get better, you get more comfortable, you can adjust it. You can go up. You can put it two, three. You have six different sets of resistance. Then another thing that is very important. Every time you're doing an exercise, I want you to focus on the noise the wind gym does. As you're pressing out, you're going to inhale. And as you push in, you're going to exhale. Inhale and exhale. That's a great way to energize, increase the oxygen level to your body. That will make you feel very energetic after the workout. So you not only are going to get the advantages of toning, building, whatever your fitness needs are with the wind gym, but I want you to take advantage of the breathing exercises. I hope you really get the best benefits from the wind gym. It's a wonderful product. Use it. I know you love it once you start. Thank you very much.